Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh Okay, my name is Ajman Danish bin Muhammad Zimri Okay, and my metric number card is uh, CE21027 Okay, for this video, I would like to present uh, the procedure to turn on MSB Okay, let's go I can show it Okay, first we need to look at this picture. Okay, firstly, uh, we uh, we need to make sure our look is off condition and ACB also in off conditions. Okay, next, the first step we need to do, okay, turn on incoming supply. After that, get the charging handle. And look the ACB status at this ACB status is in isolated position. Uh, then must make it to the connected positions. Okay. To okay. To need the uh, position connected connected positions, we must to insert to insert the charging handle at this hole and this slot. Okay, after uh, after insert the charging handle at this slot, we need to uh, we need to turn the handle clockwise clockwise until the status change the connected positions. Okay, after that we can look at this. Okay, this is a, a status. The ACB is charged or not charged. If the ACB not charged, we need to charge the ACB uh, first. Okay. Pull this charging handle, charging handle up and down until the ACB is charging. Okay. After that, after that, uh, we need to turn on the push button, this green push button, turn on, and we must to check the bus check our bus bus supply is on okay and after that after that we look at this the power factor capacitor okay after that we need to turn on power factor capacitor it is because uh, we can see the value and the result of power factor capacitor in msb okay and lastly we need to turn on the all MCCB, the all MCCB, and we can look the MSB main switch port is uh, energized. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. So, hello. So, hello. My name is Richard Iguan Arapai. So, I'm going to explain to you um, for the bus bar coupling MSB1. Okay, here and MSB2. Okay, for us to do the process of coupling, we need to make sure both of these MSB1 and MSB2 to be turned on, as we show in our previous video. So, if all of these are in the normal conditions, okay, they are turned on and they are supply, supply going on, voltage and current there, so we can do the bus bar coupling for the MSB1 and MSB2 so before that we need to make sure that the key C1 and C2 are, are put or trapped in the key exchange box and also they are trapped in the SEBs so for us to do the bus bar coupling for MSB1 and MSB2 one of them must be turned off and one of them must be switch off okay it gonna be both turn off and both turn on in order for the bus bar apply to happen because for the bus bar coupling to happen we need to make sure that one have source and one uh, cut cut source which uh, the other panel will have to supply the source 
so for example there are two transformer source feeding okay for both the msb1 so we take msb1 to be turned off okay we turn it off so we need to do the coupling supply source from the msb2 okay this msb2 to support the msb1 panel okay then only the bus bar coupling can occur msb2 which are which is turned on to be helped the msb1 which which is turned off so the process will be uh, continue and will be shared by my group thank you uh, hello my name is Shahul Lisa. Okay. Uh, after that, then we remove the. Then we remove the K key from the ACB. From the ACB, and then lock it to the key exchange box here. After that the two isolator interlocking keys C1 and C2 should be used to free the interlocks of the bus tie isolated in MSP1 and MSP2 after that remove the C1 key C1 key and then lock it to MSP2 interlock isolator key eh, interlock isolator key after that it will free the interlocks isolated both interlocks both interlocks isolated are now free to be switched on thus completing the bus bar coupling operation the respective bus bar supply indicator lamps uh, will indicate that the respective panel keys are energized by the other panels okay, so, thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Yuki Flip Mbaka my number 3 is C8102C I will present about the number supply restaurant ok before we start the process uh, we must know that we should uh, using the PPE and wear the PPE and for this process we need to put the warning sign at the ACB ok the first step is we must turn off the all of power supplies uh, as we can see at this picture this is a switch of the power supplies ok when we turn off the power supply we can check the power supply at this part and, and we will we must make sure that the power supply is in the mass uh, of the it we must uh, turn on the accelerator number one and after we on the accelerator number one we must make sure that the power that is is the in the the engine condition after we turn on the accelerator number 1 we go to the accelerator number 2 at the C2 also we, we must on the accelerator number 2 and after we on the accelerator number 2 we must take the key at this and we put at the key host number 3 at this and after it we also uh, must keep uh, the key at the accelerator C1 and we put it at the key house number one at, at this and after we put the two key of the accelerator we can remove the ACB key uh, after uh, we remove the ACB key uh, we can we can put put, uh, put the ACB key at this part at the ACB and we turning the key uh, follow the clockwise until the unlock portion and uh, right now uh, our ACB is in a uh, isolated portion ok after this uh, we need we need give uh, to the our MCB 
the power supplies from the oscillator uh, at this we must on it switch of uh, power filter the picture is uh, most clear better than it uh, we turn on it and after we done, turn on it the our MCB is in the is ready have a power supply right now and we can check the power supply is this meter okay after that we can write in the our ACB USB uh, and we can see the this picture is most clearly better than it and uh, we must use the cell procedure uh, firstly we put in the handle charging to it to it hole to that hole and we uh, turn in uh, follow the clockwise until the SCB indicator at the connect position uh, we can see at this mid after uh, our MCB at the current position, um, our ACB is in a discharge and in of a position. Uh, we need to we need to do the charging process uh, at the knee at the handle charging process. We must pull up this this handle until uh, we get the SCB in the charge uh, position and we can see we when the SCB in the position we can see at this after that after our SCB in the charge, charging position we can turn on this green button After that, uh, after the LCB is in a on condition, we can check the AU bus bar, AU bus bar, this, AU bus bar, stat, uh, AU bus bar status or voltage, in balance condition or not. After this, this process is complete, right now, our supply at the MC1 are ready ready to fix uh, to our loads at this our load at this all of it uh, step by step firstly we must turn on the capacitor band first after that ECB after that it and the IL IMDT okay after, after that all is on we can check the our status our power status uh, uh, we can see the increment of our current uh, after the all process is uh, complete we can or um, we can remove the sign of signs of uh, warning signs after we remove the warning sign we can we can record all the words that we have done in the logbook uh, to avoid uh, missing records after we record the process we must close the permit that we already, already applied okay that's all for me thank you